Raising chickens used to be something that only people in the country did and have long been associated with farms and wide open spaces. But not anymore. Backyard chickens are becoming a modern cultural phenomenon. Anybody, anywhere can raise chickens. You don't need a big yard. You don't need a big pen. All you need is a place that is secure from predators. So dogs, raccoons, cats can't get them, particularly at night. They need to have some place that will keep the rain and the snow off, and keep the wind out. But you can have a relatively small space, six square feet in a pen. An old dog kennel would work, or a gerbil cage, or something that is relatively small. Now, the less space you have, the less birds you can have in there. Um, but you can have three or four birds in a relatively small space, and they'll do just fine as long as you keep them warm, dry, sheltered, and keep the pen cleaned out. So, you've determined you have the necessary space to raise chickens. How do you get started? If I were doing it for the first time, I would go out in the spring to Intermountain Farmers or someplace like that, where they will have hundreds and hundreds of baby chicks. You want several because chickens are social animals. They need to be with others. They don't do well in isolation. But I would get three or four of whatever they recommend they'll have. They can tell you what, what's good for laying eggs, what's good for meat, what's good for variety or color or whatever it is you're looking for, or for eating bugs in the backyard. And then because I have children, you get the chance to raise those baby chicks all summer and to watch them grow. And then as they mature in the fall, those, <laughs> sorry, those, those laying hens, uh, those birds will start laying eggs and they'll, they'll be mature birds. Fresh eggs are one of the best benefits of backyard chickens. And the eggs are more nutritious than store-bought eggs as they are higher in omega-3s, beta-carotene, and vitamins A, D, and E, while also being lower in cholesterol and saturated fat. They taste better too. During peak season, most hens, most good laying hens will lay one egg every other day. But it's driven by the weather and the temperature. And so in the fall, when the days start to get shorter and the weather gets colder, their egg laying will drop off. And in the spring, they'll start laying like crazy again. Rules and regulations for raising backyard chickens vary from city to city. In many cities like Holiday, you can raise chickens without needing any permission. In other cities, such as Salt Lake, you need a permit, which costs $50 and is obtained through Salt Lake County Animal Services. If you decide you want to raise chickens for whatever reason, um, the most important thing is not what laws and regulations exist in the city. The most important thing you have to remember is to keep your neighbors happy, because if you have happy neighbors, the city will never know and never care. If you have unhappy neighbors, it doesn't matter what the rules are, doesn't matter if it's authorized, if you have unhappy neighbors, you won't be able to have chickens. In addition to the fresh eggs, the meat, and cutting down on the number of insects in your yard, chickens also make for friendly, entertaining pets and provide something else in today's fast-moving society. What I like most about raising chickens is the atmosphere that it creates. It, uh, for me, it is a little bit of country in the city. When I come home stressed at the end of the day and I slip in the backyard and go out to see the chickens, I de-stress and life comes back to normal and, and life is good. <laughs> it, it creates for me an atmosphere of country life and wholesome living for me and my children in a life that is increasingly hectic and chaotic. Having the chickens scratching around the backyard brings an atmosphere of peace and sort of tranquility that I just, I just really enjoy. From Holiday, I'm Matt George for the Utah League of Cities and Towns.